Hi everybody, you are watching with Royals. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this polygon logo in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with a new document. Ctrl N or Command N on your Mac to bring up the new document panel and I'm gonna size this canvas with the 1200 on 1200 points. Click OK uh, to start the new document. Then click Ctrl Quote, Ctrl Shift Quote to show up the grid and snap to the grid respectively you can find these options here view hide show grid and snap to the grid now we need to customize a little bit our grid uh, in order to do this go to the edit preferences white and grid and here i need to set the number of two subdivision to four click ok to apply the changes let's start with our first detail with the polygon tool click, hold left mouse button key on the rectangle tool to bring up this menu and choose the polygon tool i'm gonna work with default hexagon we need to set the height of this hexagon to four large squares or in this case it should be 288 points exactly so uh, head over to the properties panel and type 288 points don't forget to link uh, width and height so 288 click enter to apply the changes so now we have our hexagon i'm gonna click slash to get rid from the field and increase the stroke to three points uh, so far so good let's go and uh, marquee the center of our hexagon uh, first of all Control r command r to show the rulers now grab the vertical line and position it into the center and grab the horizontal line and position it to the center as well just like so our next step is to grab the polygon again now we need to create the 12 sided polygon or so-called dodecagon so in order to do this i'm gonna place the cursor into the center of my composition hold alt or option on your mac to bring up the polygon menu set the number of sides to 12 click ok now let's wrap with the airdropper tool let's wrap the stroke and holding alt and holding shift or option and shift on your mark i'm gonna increase the size of this the decagon to 576 points both width and height you can see under my properties panel uh, so far so good let's rotate our small polygon holding shift key so rotate it on 90 degrees exactly so now it has a width of 288 let's make a duplicate ctrl c ctrl f to make a duplicate and i'm gonna size up this duplicate uh, by placing cursor under the width menu click backspace to uh, delete the value and set a new one of 432 points click enter to apply the changes now we need to align this uh, hexagon properly i'm gonna align it to the bottom right corner of my small hexagon let let me change the color stroke color of my small hexagon so we can see it more clearly so you see that my duplicate and this small initial hexagon has the same angle on the bottom right and also this side of my hexagon rest on the angle of dodecagon you see it here so it finished under the angle of my dodecagon let's create a duplicate with ctrl c ctrl f again of this large key hexagon and position it 
to another side of my red hexagon. Now it has the board common top right corner. And uh, next thing, because this side should be also rest on the angle of my dodecagon, I'm gonna size down the height just a little bit. Pro uh, you should be prompted by Illustrator itself because we are snapping to the grid. You see, notice this area, it's finished right in this angle. So it's very important because uh, I'm particularly interested in this shape. You see it here. I'm gonna select the shape right now with the shape builder tool. So draw a marquee to select the three guys. Grab the shape builder tool, click shift M and select the shape. This is the only thing we need to create this design. So we have the center of our composition and we have our working shape. Next we need to grab the rotate tool, click R, R and holding Alt or Option key, we need to place cursor to the center of our composition and bring up the rotate dialog box. Set the angle of rotation to 60 degrees and click copy to apply the changes. So you see it uh, creates the duplicate and now Ctrl D, Command D to repeat this operation. So we now have very rough prototype of what we need. And uh, my aim right now is to polish this prototype again with the shape builder tool so i'm gonna start with the shape of my on my top and i'm gonna delete all of these details and we are done guys next step is to uh, select one of them swap between fill and stroke and head over to the gradient tool apply the default gradient and let's align it properly. So grab the gradient tool, click G, and I'm gonna align from the innermost corner to the center of our opposite side. You see it here. I prefer the strict alignment because uh, when the gradient is applied to all of this stuff, it creates a coherent, cohesive design. So uh, let's start here then swap uh, reverse the gradient click this icon on the gradient panel and we are done let's select everything with ctrl r command r select the gradient now let, let's work with the gradient itself i'm gonna double click on the black uh, gradient stop to uh, bring up the gradient panel and next I'm gonna set the RGB from this drop-down menu uh, head over to the hexadecimal value and I'm gonna provide the value of 6 A C 8 F 1 click enter and last thing that we need is to align the gradient properly. So grab the gradient tool again, go to the innermost value of this, this, this. Last but not least, we need to set the dark background. Uh, this time I'm gonna use just rectangle tool cover uh, my entire canvas with the rectangle then ctrl shift left bracket or command shift red bracket on your mark and i'm gonna darken the color let's say to this very very dark blue okay and this is how you can create this polygon logo 
in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give us some up, subscribe to my channel, visit tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and graphic designer tutorials, and don't forget to enroll in my Udemy uh, course for Adobe Illustrator, how to be more productive in industry standard of vector software. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.